Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 910th and a half episode of the Nobody Asks for This podcast. I am coming to you in a peculiar situation. I'm in the same setting as I normally am when I do an on the go. One sec, I have to spit up my gum. I always forget this part. I'm on the same in the same setting as I normally am when I do a vehicular episode of the Nobody Asks for This podcast. Just lock the doors. But um, it's actually PM, so it's the same but different, you know? Maybe that could be an episode title. I basically think in episode titles at this point, and by I basically think in episode titles at this point, I mean for half an hour a week, I think in episode titles, and then I forget that I even do this for the rest of the week. And then I, I get surprised every Wednesday morning when I'm like, oh, I do that. I am a world-renowned podcast host, one could say. You could say that. Like, world-renowned... I feel like I have something in my throat. One sec. (coughs) Mm, Questionable. Do I sound different? It's that time of year where, like, I I live in, not fear, but in awareness that, like, I'm definitely going to get a cold at some point. Like, in the next, like, not to manifest, but, like, in the next month or two, um, I will be on the Nobody Asked Us podcast talking, like, and then I did, and then I had to go, you know, just, like, with the sniffles. Um, And that is what it is. I, I, you just, you have to embrace it, you know? And you have to just be honest. I think everyone's favorite defense for a while was, oh, it's allergies. Like, once it became March... You could be like, oh, it's allergies. And it's like, is it allergies? Like, I don't know if people just say that so that you don't think, ew, gross, this person's contagious, or if they actually believe it's allergies. Now, whether or not it is allergies, we'll never know. Which is what, which is what makes it such a genius excuse. I always say, the best excuse to get out of something is to say you have a bladder infection. It's not contagious, so you don't have to worry about, like, Here's the thing. If you say, like, oh, I have pneumonia, obviously terrible, as is a bladder infection, but, like, then you you can't really be seen by anyone going to, like, Target because it's like, well, you obviously didn't have pneumonia. But if you say, oh, I have a bladder infection, you know, can't come into work today, but then someone sees you at Target, it's like, yeah, they're probably buying cranberry juice, you know? Like, it doesn't inhibit your ability to just... Like, still really live your life, but you don't want to be, like, at work sitting in a chair for eight hours, probably more, with a bladder infection. Now, I've never had a bladder infection, so I actually don't know. Um, And with the amount of times I have wanted to use that excuse, I'm surprised the karma of a bladder infection has not falleth upon thee. But um, we're white-knuckling it for now. I hope everyone has had a splendid week. I have to say... This The last episode of the Nobody Asked This podcast was pretty decent. I feel like I was just... I don't want to use the term on fire, speaking of bladder infection. But I felt, I felt good about it. And usually if I have an episode that I feel good about, then the next episode is not that great. So I just want to set expectations low. You know, maybe not. Maybe there'll be an upset. Who knows? This is a PM recording, which I believe the last recording was PM, but I was I was not out and about. So this is very this is very jarring. Although I do like just sort of changing up a routine. I like routine. I don't need a routine. I feel like I'm pretty flexible. Um not physically, like I can barely touch my toes some days, but like otherwise pretty flexible. So I enjoy just kind of switching up a switching up your routine. Um, what did I do today? Okay, so this week, we are officially, we've been talking about it for about a month, we are officially in official fall. It happened, it happened at, I want to say, 5.43 a.m. just this past Sunday. I was not up at 5.43 a.m. just this past Sunday. I believe my alarm went off around like 6 30 so I, I woke up like an hour into fall and I could already tell the difference I woke up and I said it's it happened like I could feel it um, and ever since then the weather has been trash it's been terrible it's been pouring rain pretty much every minute since um, and as someone who was advocating for fall 
As always, be careful what you wish for because I feel like since falls happened, it's been storming rain, which I actually don't mind. I like, I like some rain. You know, maybe you don't have to go anywhere that day. You're wearing a, a, a thing, a plaid, a plaid blanket, staring out the window. Now, the problem is I always forget, like, I still have to operate in the rain. Like, you can't just be like, like, you can take a day off if you have a bladder infection. You can't take a day off because it's raining. Nor do I need to, but, like, sometimes I want to. Um, and I actually... I'm kind of coming to you today a, a new person. I don't think this is a permanent change, but I think for whatever reason, this is just who I woke up as today. Um, I was driving into work because the bladder infection excuse did not work. And I was pissed. No, I'm kidding. Um, I, I was thinking, you know what month isn't so bad? March. Like, are you kidding me? I have, I have probably done full episodes on how much I hate January, February, March. And then I was thinking, you know what? It's actually not that bad. Like springtime is not that bad. Like I was actually sort of missing like April, which I've never missed April a day in my life. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening to me. I also did a whole episode on peanut butter and pickles on it on toast a couple weeks ago. Shout out to anyone that m- might have sat through that. Although looking at the statistics of like the, the the numerology, the the numbers, I don't think it was many people, if any. But I was in a position where I could have made that the other day, and I was like, I don't even want this. So I don't know if I'm just sort of entering a new like version. Like I know Apple just came out with an update. Maybe I came. Up, maybe I'm at my next iOS level. I don't know. Who's to say? But then maybe I'm just in a I'm just in a mood. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just in a mood. And everything is going to be fine. I really want to go to a pumpkin patch. I've been thinking that the other day. I'm trying to brainstorm like like who or like the group. Like but I'm trying to find I, I need to weasel my way into a pumpkin patch. And I, I can't go alone. Like I will go alone. That's also been a theme on this podcast. Like, I'm not scared to go alone. Um, But it just looks... It's just, like, one less reason to not go if I have someone to go with, if that makes sense. It's similar to how I think of Trader Joe's. Like, I'll go alone. I'm not scared of a Trader Joe's. But, like, if I go with someone, I'll have someone to, like, bounce ideas off of. I'll be able to say, like, hey... Actually, you know what? I think I found myself... I didn't even put this together. I found myself in a Trader Joe's alone for the first time just this past Sunday, which, as you know, I woke up at 6.30 a.m. to go to Trader Joe's, and fall had just started. And I got, just to fully segue into this next section, I got my hands on every single fall item I could. Not every, but it was definitely, like, it was definitely probably the most money I'd ever spent on Trader Joe's. It was like 60 something dollars. Um, and I did that thing. And I don't know if this is a normal thing, but I, you know, obviously get, I get a cart, not a buggy. Like, not, like I get like a, like a basket, sorry, not a cart. So I got the basket. I, I filled it up. It was getting really heavy. I was going around. I'm pretty good about like, Especially recently, like there was a time where I would have just loaded it up and worried about the consequences later. I'm getting better in terms of like looking at something honestly and being like, do I need this? Because for a while, anytime anything was limited edition, like I had to have it. Didn't matter if I didn't like it. Didn't matter if I didn't even want it. Like if it was limited edition, I was getting it. Maybe we'll throw it in the freezer. Maybe we'll just hold on to it. Like I, I was, for lack of a better word, unique in that. Uh, and I've gotten a lot better at that. So there was a few things where I looked at it and it was fall and it was limited and I knew that I wasn't going to be... And the thing with Trader Joe's, I don't know if it's just the one I go to, but like, if you see it, you have to just grab it and then uh, like, of course, pay for it. But like, it might not be there when you go back. Like, you don't have the luxury of like, you know what, I'm just going to get this next time because seven and a half times out of 10, they don't have it next time. Which I guess makes sense. Like, I... Like, most grocery stores, like, you don't have, like, 
they just buy their stuff from like other suppliers where I feel like Trader Joe's actually for the most part makes all of their stuff unless they're just buying it and then rebranding it as Trader Joe's in which case they're geniuses but I digress on that um all that to say I've gotten better and I was alone like I was saying so I really didn't have anyone like I, I would have maybe had to face you know the receipt I might have had to burn the receipt if I went into like the hundreds of dollars um but in that moment, I could have bought anything. So I was loading my cart. Yes to the pumpkin yogurt. No to the apple cider donuts. I did not want the apple cider donuts. But I just, I was like, will I eat six apple cider donuts? In the time that they're still fresh. Probably could. But I also bought pumpkin bagels and pumpkin English muffins. And like other, other cookies. So I was like, okay, I have to limit myself here. Now... Next time I go back, I will be getting the apple cider donuts and I will be eating them live while recording and nobody asked for this podcast just for the thrill of it. So that's the thing. Like, did I buy them? No. Have I thought of them every moment since? Yes. Did I look at what I did buy and go, none of you are apple cider donuts? And I did. Oh my God, it was so embarrassing. I took all of the fall orange crap that I bought put it on my kitchen counter and then took a picture like and then and then did nothing with it. Like, how losery. Actually, let me find that picture. And I'm not going to share it with anybody, but I'm going to go down the line and say everything I bought. Alrighty. Pumpkin English muffins. Have not tried those yet. Um, they're coming up. Pumpkin bagel. Trader Joe's. Delicioso. Perfect. Um, I got a pumpkin spice protein bar. Uh, it's a barbell. I liked it. I like the cookies and cream version of that one better because it tastes like a Oreo cream egg, which you can't really get any better than an Oreo cream egg. But I liked it nonetheless. What other fall stuff did I get? I got fall harvest salsa. Duh. Why would I not? I got sweet potato habanero hot sauce. Of course. The pumpkin yogurt. The pumpkin yogurt is some of my favorite yogurt. I have like not great taste buds. I've heard people say like it doesn't. T- it tastes like orange, not pumpkin, and like not even orange the fruit, like just orange the color, which that was confusing to me. Um, so there's that, but I did get it, and then I got pumpkin pancake mix. Duh, I got pumpkin overnight oats. Of course, I got a pumpkin perfect bar. Now, the Perfect Bar is, if you view it as a, like, a protein bar, not that great. If you, just from, probably from, like, a nutritional standpoint. I'm not a, I'm not a health guru, um, if you can tell. But if you view it as a candy bar, it's pretty darn good. It's like, oh, this is, like, a healthy chocolate bar. So, the Pumpkin Pie Perfect Bar. They also sell it in a big pack at Costco. Other than that, I got the Honeycrisp Apple Cinnamon Oatmeal. Or not, sorry, not oatmeal. Yogurt, I haven't tried that one yet. Um, The package was not orange, so it didn't stand out to me right away. And it actually is wrecking the aesthetic of this photo that I took. But that's fine. Um, Not pumpkin flavored, but I got their coconut cream yogurt from Trader Joe's. I don't know what it is. I actually think it sounds like it's non-dairy. I'm pretty sure there's like fully dairy in it. So I don't know what is. Like, I don't... I think it's just yogurt mixed with coconut. It's delicious, whatever it is. I got the Harvest Chili. Now, that I did try, and I really want to come on here and say, like, it was amazing and life-changing. It was decent. I Like, I think I like... I threw some jalapenos in there. A little bit of cheddar. I think I just like the classic chili too much. Like, I think... I think I'd, I was just the whole time thinking, like, I wish it had, this had taco seasoning. I gotta be honest. Um... I tried their pumpkin cream cheese. Now, that I have tried. Decent. I think I just don't love pumpkin cream cheese. Like, I think I... Like, I put a spoon in the pumpkin cream cheese wanting it to be pumpkin, like, cheesecake. And it's not. Like, there's no sugar. So, it's always going to taste like something's missing. And that's just not fair to the pumpkin cream cheese because it is beautiful on its own. But, like, I'm just looking for something else from you, you know? Um, I also got pumpkin ravioli. I haven't had those yet, but I look forward to it. And then where I sort of 
started panicking and just started throwing everything into my cart was these two items. I got the, the pumpkin ravioli, like I just said, and the pumpkin gnocchi. And if I was smart, I would have only gotten one, but I just physically could not, I could not put one down. What I did put down is the, uh, they had like a sweet potato cranberry wrap or something, and that sounded really good, and I've been thinking of that ever since. So that I have to go back and get. And then I also got pumpkin samosas, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm very excited too. So that was my auditory food haul. Um, and it's I'm really good at doing reviews, obviously, because I haven't even tried half of this stuff. Um, I would say most of the stuff, but I look forward to it. I'm pacing myself, okay? And then coming up next week, you're going to hear me talk about the... Um, those apple, well, probably not next week, but at, at a week in the future, those apple cider donuts. So stay tuned for that. And I was trying to remember, because obviously once one season has started, I'm like already on to the next. I don't, I can't specifically remember like any Trader Joe winter holiday items that I particularly like. Like, do those just not exist? Like, is are they just, do they just live for the fall? Like, I can't. I can't remember. There's not, like, one thing where I'm like, oh, I can't wait. They had those little gingerbread cookies that looked pretty cool, but, like, other than that. And also, to be honest, that was everything I said, which, like, $60 was a bit steep, especially when, like, most of those yogurts are, like, 50 cents. I'm sure I got a few extra things that weren't fall-themed and therefore didn't make the cut for the photograph. But, um, yeah, I feel like, like, not to say I got ripped off or anything because I willingly went in there and spent money, but like, yikes. This is why you can't think after you buy. Like you just have to go grocery shopping. I do it for two things. I do it to get food and I do it for the adrenaline. Like I love grocery shopping. I've always loved grocery shopping. Like I don't go out much, clearly. Like. I, I don't I don't get out of my house much, but when I do, it's to go to the grocery store and I spend money like I'm at the club. And how I justify... I mean, Costco is a, is a wholesale club. The closest I get to go to the club. But, like, I spend money, again, like I'm at the club. So, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm just doing what normal people my age do. I'm just doing it at a different type of club. Because, God forbid, I save money. I just need to spend it elsewhere. Yikes. Okay. What else did I do this week? I'm getting a little concerned. The sky, it is a crisp 7.57 p.m. And the sky is a little bit, I would say purple. I think people would say red or maybe like a violet color. Violet, you're turning violet, violet. This looks purple to me. And that's concerning because why is that happening? Because the last time, okay, like I want to say a few months ago, sometime in the summer... Um, which at this point is last season. So this is so last season. But I looked up at the sky and it was like these like purples and I was going to say it was blue. I think that's normal for the sky to be blue. But it was like a, it was a, a nice waft of, that's not a word, a nice spread of like a purpley red color. And I thought, oh, that looks so cool. And I was taking pictures and stuff. And then I found out, I can't remember the exact details, but like the reason it was it was the funky color was of like a horrible like forest fire or like environmental crisis. So I was like, oh great. I was just sitting there taking pictures of something that like is, a, is an issue. So now I get nervous anytime I see the sky go different colors. And I, I don't take to Instagram. I take to like earth.com, Google Earth, and see if I can start fixing some things because this is, this is no joke, people. We gotta, we gotta turn things around. And me, like, I buy pumpkin cream cheese to cope, but, like, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to, like, put me in, coach. What do we have to do? What do we have to do? I guess that's probably a, a longer conversation that doesn't involve a 20-minute roundup of my Trader Joe's purchases, but all that to say. Um, I had a couple other things that I wanted to bring, to bring up. You know, normally... And by normally, I mean almost always, this is just like a, it's a stream of consciousness. Whatever comes up in the moment, I don't plan. But every once in a while, there'll be moments throughout my week where I'm like, oh, I wanted, I want to talk about that. 
and I keep meaning to like have a pen by me. You know, I think a lot of smart people will tell you, have a pen by you and just write it down and then you'll come back to it. I don't do that. And obviously like I have no excuse because I have a, a notes app that I carry around with me, obviously on my phone as most people do. Um, but I still haven't, I haven't done that either. So some, you know when something's too easy? It's like, no, that's way, way too simple. I can't do that. Not for me. Not for me. I like complicated. Why'd you had to go and make things so complicated? This is the greatest song of all time. Um, I stand behind that. Okay. Anyway, what else is going on? What other fall themed activities have I participated in? Oh, I did see pumpkin spice cottage cheese. I can't, I, I feel like I definitely knew about it before. I don't know if we've talked about it, but I did not buy it. Because again, I'm trying to work on not buying things that I openly don't need. But again, it's all I think about now. Like, I, if I don't put pumpkin spice cottage cheese on a apple cider donut and wrap all of that in a sweet potato burrito, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yikes. And I'm probably going to get a cold soon. Because, because, and then maybe even a, a bladder infection on top of that. What am I, what is this world, and the sky's purple, what is this world coming to? Speaking of the sky being purple, do we know if the northern lights are happening anytime soon? Because it happened again, where I was just in conversation with, in conversation that's very, a very dramatic way of saying I was talking to somebody and they're like oh yeah and then we saw the northern lights and I was like you saw the northern lights where like thinking they went to wherever the northern lights are and they're like no like just on our balcony and I was like can people tell me about this like I hear about all of the stupid things I can tell you what version of Oreo Cakesters are coming out I can tell you what M&M is working on the chocolate and the rapper, but I can't tell you when the northern lights are going to be visible from my city, and that's annoying. And it keeps happening. It's like I have this beef with the northern lights that I don't even want. I didn't I didn't sign up for this. I didn't Where did the northern lights happen? Like north, right? <laughs> Let's see. When are the northern lights? Am I is this the northern lights, the purple? going to be visible. September to mid-May, okay. Aurora Borealis. And that makes me nervous. Hmm, I don't know. You know what else makes me nervous? Like, September's almost over. And then October's gonna be almost over. And then we all know fall starts in pretty much August. Did I say August is going to be over? I can't... Wait, let me let me listen back. One sec. Okay, there was no mention of August. I don't know why I thought I said that. But then October is going to be over. And then it's pretty much Christmas, which I'm excited for Christmas, but I want fall. Even though fall started three days ago, I'm already stressed about fall ending. Because I haven't watched... I haven't watched Halloween movies. And I have... I feel like I have to watch like, a week or two of, like, fall movies first before I start Halloween movies. But then once October hits, it's like I can start watching Halloween movies. Now, I rarely watch movies anyway, just because I feel like movies are getting way too long. But I really want to make a point to, like, watch movies. So it's almost like, do I just call fall a wash and start watching Christmas movies? Because that's how long it takes me. This is, it's such a hard life I live, truly. No, I can't. I'm obviously kidding, but yikes. Just so many like little, I can't, I I can't seriously call anything I've complained about an inconvenience, but you know what I mean. Let's just all eat our pumpkin spice, um, cream, not cream cheese. Well, that too, but our pumpkin spice, um, cottage cheese. I'm going to Google and see some reviews of that. Oh, pumpkin spice whipped cottage cheese. I don't know about that. Although I am running low on pumpkin puree, which I've been putting in a lot of stuff. Okay, pumpkin spice cottage cheese review. I don't know how I feel about cottage cheese. I feel like it's it's like had its moments. 
And it's definitely either in a moment right now or, like, coming off of one. But, like, what is it? Like, I I know what yogurt is, kind of. Like, I actually don't know what yogurt is. I don't know what mayo is. I don't know what yogurt is. I feel like I have a... Because it's more solid, I kind of know what sour cream is. I know what milk is. Although, can I be 100% serious? I legitimately just learned yesterday. This is unfortunately not a joke. I just learned that the only cow you can get milk from is like a female cow who just had a baby and is like essentially like breastfeeding. I didn't, I swear on a stack of cottage cheese, pumpkin spice version, limited edition, that I'll probably end up buying at some point and put on the apple cider donut in the sweet potato burrito. I swear I didn't know that. I just thought, like, you could go up to any cow and, like, try and milk it. Not that you should, but, like, that you could, and, like, maybe milk would come out, maybe not. I had, I didn't know that. And it makes me sad. I really think I'm inching closer towards vegetarianism, although I think to give up milk you'd have to be vegan but I, i'm actually fine with that because like almond milk will do it's not the it's not the same but it'll do coconut milk is delicious oat milk i don't love just like a glass of oat milk nor do i really love a glass of almond milk but like it's fine like if you're gonna just sit around and drink a non-dairy milk it should be coconut but then the problem is like it tastes too much like a coconut, which is a great flavor, but it's like a different flavor. Whereas milk is like, I guess, supposed to be more neutral. Where's peanut milk? They have cashew milk. I don't think I've ever tried that. Something, rice milk got left behind. For a while, it was like what everyone was drinking. It was like up there with like when it was just almond. Like right before almond milk kicked off. When it was like really just soy. It was soy. And then it was like... Rice was about to be the new almond milk, and then almond milk kicked off, and then it went it went coconut, and again then oat, and now I feel like there hasn't been there hasn't been like a new non dairy. I don't even think you can technically legally call it milk. There hasn't been a new non dairy beverage to like really involve itself since oat milk three or four years ago. Like, I'm sure oat milk has been around for a while, but, like, in the last five years, it's been, like, what people get. And I just, I sometimes wonder what the next milk will be. I think it should be peanut. Now, I I understand probably, like, it's an allergy thing, but can you even get peanut milk? Because I feel like that sounds delicious. Peanut milk. Peanut milk is a plant milk, which is an alternative to animal milk. Okay. Okay. Okay, it is It is a milk. But why is it not like... Maybe it's like a cost thing? If they did pine nut milk, you could probably use it to buy houses. Pine nuts are so expensive for no reason. For literally no... Oh, I'm, actually, I'm sure there is a reason I haven't looked into it. But like I was at Costco the other day. I was at the club. And they had like a... Uh, like it was obviously... It was a, it was a big bag of pine nuts for sure but it was like $50 maybe even more I was like do you know how much Trader Joe fall stuff I got for $50 not as much as I should have but like a good amount for sure nuts literally nuts um I'm gonna google what's the next non-dairy milk and see if google knows what I'm talking about Ooh, I would do, I would try some hazelnut milk for sure. Cashew. I feel like, no, cashew's been around. I love a pecan. I'll try that. Hmm. Yeah, it's not looking like they have a concrete answer for me. I'm going to do some research. We're going to find, we're going to, maybe in the next episode, if not the next episode, the episode after that, we'll do some, we'll do some taste testing of the different milks. Now, the problem is 
they're all so expensive that like if I bought four of them and did a taste test, that would probably be as much money as buying fall goods at Trader Joe's. But like, I'll just, I'll just, I'll I'll business expense it. (laughs) I'm so in the reds on this podcast. It's not even funny. The reds is bad, right? Anyway, I do have to go. I have to go get gas and then go home. But I hope everybody had, I mean, obviously I drive a Tesla, so I, I have to go charge and then go home. Um, I hope everyone has had a great time with me and a great week. I hope you have a great week to come. We're almost at the weekend. By the time you're hearing this, we're even almost -er at the weekend. Maybe have a different plant-based milk. Justice for the poor cows that are just trying to feed their babies. I actually, like, this veganism thing, I'm getting closer and closer. Um, But until then, I'll see you on the flip side. Maybe get the apple cider, cider donuts if this, as you can hear, choosing not to will have detrimental effects and have you um, pledging to put one of them in a wrap with sweet potato and other Trader Joe's finds that you didn't get. I don't, yeah, I don't know how I got, honestly, I don't know how I got from there to there, but I I did all of that. So um, I'm going to go. I hope you all have a great week and thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye.